Okay, so welcome back to part four. And uh, in this section, we'll take the links that it gave us on the installation. And this will be the uh, HTTP, and this will be on port 1115. So what I'm going to do is just going to fire up uh, Internet Explorer here. And in that section of there, I'm going to paste the link that it gave us. And uh, let's just see what happens. Gives us a warning. I'm just going to OK that. OK, so it comes up with a standard um, warning web page. I'm going to continue to this uh, web page. And I'm not going to allow that little box to come up in the future. Let's just get that going. So this is now going to forward us to the uh, 3116. Uh, so this will be the HTTPS. And I'm going to um, just add that and close that. OK, so here we are with the, uh, the login screen. There are many. Okay, let's just log in and let's see what happens. Okay, so we've logged in okay. And uh, we should have a section here which is not coming up. Okay, some something's happened there. So we've got this up, which is what we want anyway. Let's go to the um, and add that. Okay, there seems to be a little bit of a lag, but it's trying. I'm going to do a refresh here. Let's just see what we get. We'll check that. Close that. Let's just do another refresh. Okay, do another refresh. Okay, so there seems to be an issue um, with it uh, showing the dashboard. So things aren't working as they should be. And you may well have this issue as well. And one thing to kind of get going on this is if you go into the um, installation files, go for your IBM, go for the TWA, and go for the TWS folder. And if you scroll down, there's something called JNext Plan. So this is JNext Plan here, and it's a Windows command file. And I'll just extend that to Windows command script. So I'm going to just click that. I'm going to copy that link that it gives you. I'm going to run the command prompt. I'm going to change the directory and then I'm going to paste in the um, section here which I copied the TWS folder and uh, do a DIR and what we want to run is the jnextplan.cmd okay so j next plan let's just run that let's see what happens okay it's come back with a few sort of um, um, feedback uh, issues here 
So let's go back to this now and let's just see whether we can get this to run. Okay, we're not. Okay, I'm going to log out. And I'm going to log back in again. Okay, what I'm looking for here is the engine that comes up here and obviously there's a, an issue related to finding the engine. So I'm going to go to manage my engines and let's see what comes up here. So it is, dis it is discovering it. So let's have a test connection and it's tested okay, it's successfully tested. So let's go back to the dashboard. Aha, so here we are, it's found it now. I don't know why it was struggling to find it, but it has found it. And we are seeing a, a graphic element here, which tells me that things are going well. <coughs> if I go into click this waiting section, I see a list down here. And what, at this point, what I'm going to do is just tell you what I would do on a sample. Is I would install the the TWS tutorial, and there's a there's a, a file here called the um, sample DB setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy that, go into the command line. I'm going to do a CD. And then I'm going to paste in the file uh, location, and here it's called sample db setup. So let's just copy that, go back to the command line, and paste that into there. Let's just click that, and let's run that file. This might take a, a few minutes. So I'll just stay with me for this one. This is what I would do on a standard install, just to make sure that everything's running correctly. You have to click yes, because you want to um, for this to happen. And then it's going to go ahead and ask you for um, another yes. And then click yes again. And this is installing some sample um, jobs into the database. And at this point, what I'm going to do is just click back over to the dashboard I'm going to come out of this okay we might have a freeze happening right now it's certainly doing something okay it's coming back with the engine loading and it's come back with an issue here which um, which is quite common really so what I'm going to do now is go back and do a CD and go back to the TWS location I'm going to run JNext plan again so J next plan run that file again sort of resets all the um, information um, and I'm gonna just come out of that I'm gonna see whether I can click this dashboard again okay it's not gonna do it so I'm gonna go back and click the dashboard again and see what happens with this okay now we've got ready 
5 and weighting 17. So this is exactly what I would expect from a standard install. And from here you've got some sample jobs. So here I'm going to just stop the video and uh, that was the sort of post installation setup um, for the uh, Tivoli workload controller. And this will end the, uh, the installation uh, videos and um, I may do another video on using the sample database that I, I did it on the install. But that completes the uh, session here and uh, hopefully you can see some more videos from me. Thank you. Bye bye.